Hi guys, Freshdesk and Fresh Service are two of the most popular tools in the help desk and IT service management fields. But which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between Freshdesk and Fresh Service, and we'll consider six criteria to see how these two tools stack up. We'll leave the link in the description, you can use it. You can start with a free version, and if you like it more, you can upgrade risk-free. And thank you for using the links in the description. Freshdesk is a fully-fledged help desk solution for providing and managing customer service, whereas Fresh Service was developed in, to coordinate and manage in-house IT support. So let's find out which is better for you. For the SLA management, the SLA features in both Freshdesk and Fresh Service include in-app reminders and email notifications to help agents meet their deadlines. Additionally, global SLA times can be set up to provide 24-7 support to end users no matter where they're located. While both Freshdesk and Fresh Service provide SLA management features, they are tailored to different user groups. In Freshdesk, SLA management is focused on assisting support teams in meeting the expectations of external users. This means you can provide your customers with fast and efficient support, helping to improve their overall experience with your company. In contrast, Fresh Service's SLA management feature is designed for internal customers. This means you can provide your employees with the same level of support as your external customers, ensuring they're able to do their jobs efficiently and effectively. And for the reporting and analytics, Freshdesk and Fresh Service provide insights into agent performance based on key performance indicators. This means you can track things like ticket volume, response time, and resolution time to ensure that your agents are meeting your service level agreements. Additionally, both platforms offer dashboards that allow users to access interactive visualizations of performance data. This can help you identify trends and make data-driven decisions. Custom reports can be created in both Freshdesk and Fresh Service according to your business requirements. This means that you can track the metrics that matter most to your organization. Additionally, scheduled reports can be delivered periodically to users' inboxes, ensuring that everyone has access to the information they need. The only notable difference between the two platforms regarding reporting is that Freshdesk includes customer satisfaction results. These surveys can be conducted in various ways, such as yes or no pools, multiple choice, drop-downs, interactive sliders, or visual surveys. This can help you gauge how your customers feel about your support services and identify areas for improvement. And for the integrations? If you're looking for a diverse range of app integrations, Freshdesk has got you covered, with over a thousand available on its app marketplace. These integrations cover a broad category of apps such as e-commerce, agent productivity, issue tracking and alerts, and more. You'll find some of the most popular integrations such as Slack, MailChimp, Google Analytics and Google Calendar, among many others. With Freshdesk, you can easily connect with the tools you use every day to improve your workflow. On the other hand, Fresh Service, which is also a product from the same developer, offers fewer integrations that are primarily focused on aligning IT services with organizational needs. These integrations include Jira, Bomgar, CloudWatch, Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager, and PagerDuty. While the number of integrations may be less than Freshdesk, they're specifically designed to enhance the capabilities of Fresh Service in the IT service management domain. And for the ticket management, if you're not familiar with ticket management, it's a system used to manage customer inquiries, support requests, and other types of communication between customers and businesses. Freshdesk and Fresh Service both offer ticket management features, but there are some differences between the two. Freshdesk is primarily designed for customer-facing businesses, so its ticketing system is more extensive than Fresh Service. With Freshdesk, you get access to a team inbox that promotes collaboration among team members. This means that multiple team members can work on the same ticket, which can help speed up the resolution process. Users can also personalize their ticket view, making it easier to track and manage their tickets. Additionally, Freshdesk allows you to merge tickets related to the same issue, which can help reduce clutter and streamline your ticket management. 
On the other hand, Fresh Service incorporates its ticketing features into its incident and SLA management components. With incident management, tickets can be automatically generated from emails and categorised based on past data. This means you don't have to manually create a new ticket for every support request. Fresh Service can do it for you. Tickets are also automatically assigned to the relevant agent or group, which can help ensure that support requests are handled quickly and efficiently. And for the pricing? Both Freshdesk and Fresh Service offer your four plans each, with varying features and costs. Freshdesk has a free plan, which is great if you're just starting out. The paid plan starts at $15 per agent per month when billed annually, and $18 per agent per month when billed monthly. And going all the way up to enterprise plans starting at $79 per agent per month when billed annually, and $95 per agent per month when billed monthly. Fresh Services Starter Plan costs $19 per agent per month when billed annually, and $29 per agent per month when billed monthly. And going all the way up to enterprise plans starting at $119 per agent per month when billed annually, and $145 per agent per month when billed monthly. It's important to consider your business needs and choose a plan that aligns with your goals and budget. And for the knowledge base, Freshdesk and Fresh Service offer knowledge portals that come with SEO capabilities and the ability to convert existing emails into knowledge base articles automatically. This means that you can quickly and easily create a knowledge base for your customers or employees without having to start from scratch. In the case of Freshdesk, the knowledge base is integrated into the self-service option for customer support. The Freshdesk knowledge base includes responses to frequently asked questions and can be accessed via a website, mobile application or chat. It can also be adapted to cater to multiple products, making it easy to provide support for a variety of different products or services. Additionally, the Freshdesk knowledge base is available in 42 languages, making it accessible to customers all around the world. Finally, the Freshdesk knowledge base includes forum moderation features, such as moderation workflows and forums linked to a ticket, which can help ensure that your community stays engaged and productive. On the other hand, the Fresh Service knowledge base is intended for use by employees to help them find solutions to their problems and eliminate the need to create a ticket to resolve an issue. The self-service portal features a basic search engine with an auto-suggest function to facilitate easy access to relevant information. Typically, solutions in the Fresh Service knowledge base are generated from resolved tickets that have been documented to assist other employees who may encounter the same problem. This means that your employees can quickly and easily find the solutions they need without having to wait for support from your IT team. So choosing between Fresh Service and Fresh Desk depends on your business and your needs. Whichever tool you choose, we'd recommend trying the free version first, risk-free, and if you like it more, you can upgrade. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. And hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, please leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too. And goodbye for now.